Hello, boys and girls. It's another Tuneful Tuesday, and here's another music activity just for you. Today, we are going to read a book and use some instruments with the reading of the book. Now, today we will read Alexander's Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day. Now, I'm going to share with you the flip chart that shows you the music aspect of this activity. So, here you see we have terrible, and we've been talking about um, TT ta or eighth note short, short, long. Here it is short, short, long, or TT ta. We've done a little bit of that. So you see that that is terrible, horrible. Then we have two quarter notes, no good, very bad, and then day is just one quarter note, day. So let's clap that together. Or I'll clap it first, you clap it second. Terrible, horrible, no good. Very bad. Hey, very good. That's easy, right? For sure. Now, this Australia word down here, Australia. Alexandra, Alexander wants to go to Australia because he's just tired of it all. But anyway, these signs are crescendo and diminuendo signs. They mean for us to start soft, and we've been talking a little bit about that, and getting loud, and then starting being loud, and then getting back soft. So we'll start soft. Let's use an instrument. Let's use the maraca we've been using. So we start soft, we get loud, and then we go that soft every time you hear the word Australia. All right, so it's a pretty self-explanatory activity. So every time you hear the word terrible, you will use the instrument that we've been using of the can that I call the wood blocks. It's really not a wood block, but we're using the best we can. So it'll be terrible, okay? And then on horrible, we'll use the maracas this time. Horrible. Remember to hit it in your hand so that we can hear the rhythm. Horrible. Claves are really just fancy, fancy rhythm sticks. No good. Okay. Very bad will be the drum. Very bad. And then we'll put it all together on day. Day. Now that means you got to have some help with this. So if you've got a mom, a dad, a brother, a sister, somebody that can do this with you, Get them in here to help you out. If not, just choose one of the instruments and play it for all the rhythms. Now, I got a little help over here to the side that you can't see. He's going to help me out with a little bit, and I'm going to do the best I can with the other. Okay. Are you ready? I hope so. I'm going to leave the rhythms on the board, on the screen, while I read the book. Remember, you're listening for the words terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day, and Australia. Here we go. Alexander and the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I went to sleep with gum in my mouth, and now there's gum in my hair. And when I got out of bed this morning, I tripped on the skateboard, and by mistake, I dropped my sweater in the sink while the water was running, and I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Everybody on day, I forgot. At breakfast, Anthony found a Corvette Stingray car kit in his breakfast cereal box. And Nick 
found a junior undercover agent code ring in his breakfast cereal box. But in my breakfast cereal box, all I found was breakfast cereal. I think I'll move to Australia. Mm, good job. In the carpool, Mrs. Gibson let Becky have a seat by the window. Audrey and Elliot got seats by the window, too. I said I was being scrunched. I said I was being smushed. I said if I don't get a seat by the window, I'm going to be carsick. No one answered. I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible no good, very bad day. Hmm. At school, Mrs. Dickens liked Paul's picture of the sailboat better than my picture of the invisible castle. At singing time, she said I sang too loud. At counting time, she said I left out 16. Who needs 16? I could tell it was going to be a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. I could tell because Paul said I wasn't his best friend anymore. He said that Philip Parker was his best friend and that Albert Moyo was his next best friend and that I was only his third best friend. I hope you sit on a tack. I said to Paul, I hope the next time you get a double decker strawberry ice cream cone, the ice cream cone part falls off the cone and lands in Australia. There are two cupcakes, excuse me, there were two cupcakes in Philip Parker's lunch bag and Albert got a Hershey bar with almonds, and Paul's mother gave him a piece of jelly roll that had little coconut sprinkles on the top. Guess whose mother forgot to put in dessert? It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. That's what it was. Because after school, my mom took us all to the dentist and Dr. Fields found a cavity just in me. Come back next week and I'll fix it, said Dr. Fields. Next week, I said, I'm going to Australia. <laughs> on the way downstairs, the elevator door closed on my foot. And while we were waiting for mom to go get the car, Anthony made me fall where it was muddy. And when I started crying because of the mud, Nick said I was a crybaby. And while I was punching Nick for saying I was a crybaby, mom came back with the car and scolded me for being muddy and fighting. I am having a terrible Horrible, no good, very bad day. No one even cares. So then we went to the shoe store to buy some sneakers. Anthony chose white one with blue stripes. Nick chose red ones with white stripes. I chose blue ones with red stripes. But then the shoe man said, we're all sold out. They made me buy plain old white ones, but they can't make me wear them. When we picked up my dad at his office, he said I couldn't play with his copy machine, but I forgot. He also said to watch out for the books on his desk, and I was careful as I could be, except for my elbow, 
He also said, don't fool around with this phone. But I think that I called Australia. <laughs> My dad said, please don't pick him up anymore. It was a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. There were lima beans for dinner, and I hate limas. There was kissing on TV, and I hate kissing. My bath was too hot. I got soap in my eyes. My marble went down the drain, and I had to wear my railroad pajamas. I hate my railroad train pajamas. When I went to bed, Nick took back the pillow he said I could keep, and my Mickey Mouse nightlight burned out, and I bit my tongue. The cat wants to sleep with Anthony and not me. It has been a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. My mom says that some days are just like that. Even in Australia. Very true, boys and girls. Even in Australia, we have terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days. Well, they have terrible, horrible, no good, bad days. I don't know. I've never been to Australia. But I know there's lots of terrible, horrible, no good, very bad days everywhere. But you have to make the best of it. That's what we've been doing, doing these virtual lessons and bringing you music lessons via the computer. I hope that you can make the very best of some terrible, horrible, no good, no good, very bad days you might be having. Have some fun, make some music, and next time we'll do a different music lesson. It's been great spending some time with you today. I can't wait to see you again really soon. Bye.